So, what do you do when a hurricane's coming? Uh, you make a video. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so obviously, I mean, we're not going to review the NCXT 120 millimeter. I think it's a 22M here. Um, this, I can talk about it for a minute or two. This is a this came out of a friend's computer. He swapped it out. We we swapped and put a Corsair in there. Uh, it's running fine, running great. I didn't record it. Sorry about that. I, I didn't even think to ask if it was all right to kind of record that, and it was sort of a haphazard. Um, went over there. Did the work and took care of it, and I, you know, kind of in and out, and got everything set back up. It wasn't really something that was conducive to try to to film the troubleshooting, and I didn't have it back here where I could try to set something up. So uh, I went ahead and did that, but I asked him if I could take the AIO to see if there's anything I could do to maybe take a look at it and fix it. And what led me to think that is, um, well, let, let's adjust this here. Can we see in there? Um, that might not be a clear path for air all the way through there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit, see if we can't uh, maybe salvage it and see what's going on. I, uh, I don't know if I can refill it. I, I'm, there might be, a, if I remember right, I might have seen a fill port on here. Uh, I don't know if I can do it or not. Uh, if nothing else, I'll see if I can't take the pump off the back and see what's going on there. I don't really know if I could fill it back up there, but I am concerned about trying to um clear clean up that airflow going through there and clean up the fan and everything i do know that he had a 3700x that was running at 95 centigrade or 95 celsius and it was uh he was struggling that was at 95 degrees at idle at idle so that kind of tells you that uh this this was not working well so either the pump isn't working or that air is too constricted and it just really really needs a good cleaning so that's what i'm going to try to do Woohoo! Down here. Um, okay, so I know I need to take this fan off of here. The fan needs cleaning up, and I can already see some uh, dust and everything that's collected on the radiator itself. So we're going to go ahead and try to clean that up as well. See if I can. Clean. What I'm probably going to have to do is take it in the other room. I've got a shop vac in there, and just uh, get out as much as I can. Then try to use some alcohol wipes and uh, some isopropyl to go ahead and clean up the fan and clean up everything, and see if once I get it clean. If I can't uh, go ahead and put it on a system and see if it can hold an idle. Now it won't. It won't completely throttle out if it's idling at 95 degrees, but it's not safe to try to run any tests with it. So all I'm going to do at that point is just go ahead and clean it up. Try to go ahead and hook it up and see if uh, if it still tries to shoot right up to 95 degrees. And if it doesn't, maybe then I'll try a stress test. If it does, then I will see about maybe taking it apart and seeing uh, what might have made it stop working. Oh yeah, we need to clean it up. Now, I did manage to clean it up quite a bit. I, I think it's cleaned up quite a bit. And I did also notice one other thing. Um, well, that wasn't good that I just did that. Anyway, uh, it's got a fill port on it. So we'll see if, if all fails, uh, if I can do that. Let me, uh, let me straighten out some of these pins I just bent, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have managed to 
straighten out most of the fins. It's not perfect, it, uh, but it's a little bit better. Uh, be careful when you're doing these because if you knock something into something, it's going to bend something over. Um, wow, really? Yeah. Anyway, so it's all it's uh, getting cleaned up. I need to go ahead and, and finish cleaning stuff up a little bit and uh, clean this fan. See if we can't put it back together and uh, slap it in a system somewhere and see if uh, see if it still overheats. I have a feeling it's going to be better. I don't know if it'll be great. I have a feeling it's going to be better than it was because at least now there's some airflow. When I when I first started trying to vacuum it out, I couldn't feel any suction whatsoever on the opposite side, and it took a while using the you know trying to brush it very very gently to knock a, enough of that loose to try to suck it up through there that I could start feeling air through it again. And then I, the shop vac has an outlet and an inlet, so I was actually holding it up to the outlet and blowing it through as I was cleaning it on the other side. So. Um, yeah, hopefully that helped a little bit. It did clean it up quite a bit. We got to tackle this fan and then we got to put it all back together and see what happens. All right, so we've managed to clean it all up and uh, took a lot of isopropyl alcohol. It took a lot of those wipes. It took a small little generic cleaning kit. Um, used the brush in there. I used some, uh, like, they're not quite cotton swabs are more like nylon tip swabs um use a little, little tiny wire brush that's in there that's a little it's uh, not quite a wire brush but it's a little bit more abrasive than a cotton swab uh to try to get in there and clean some of that stuff out and, and break some of that loose got it pretty well cleaned up where I don't, I don't know if you can see through that but you could not see through that before up oh, yep you can kind of see through there anyway uh much much better much cleaner looking the next step is going to go ahead and slap it in a system and see what kind of temps we're getting at idle. And if it's good at idle, then we'll go ahead and maybe do a little bit of a load test. And if it's not good at idle, uh, maybe we'll investigate by either seeing if I can put a little bit more fluid in here in this port or if I have to take the back off and see what's going on there. I have a feeling that I was able to clean it up quite a bit. And the more more alcohol and wipes that I was using, and it's just uh, just you know regular ninety one percent alcohol and some wipes. These wipes do have alcohol on them, but I <laughs> soaked it down. And so uh, yeah, the more I used it, the less sticky it got. So I'm I'm feeling pretty good about it now. Uh, I, no part of it feels sticky except for a little bit on this one connector. Uh, because it has a different type. It's almost like a neoprene uh, type covering over the wire and it still feels a little bit sticky, but that might be because of the material and not because of anything, any dust or dirt or anything like that. So next step is we're just going ahead and slap it in the system and see how it does. So me and my infinite wisdom, and yes, it's, it's raining out there and there's a little bit of a hurricane going on, but um, so I was disassembling this and realized this is the only system that I was actually going to be able to hook this AIO back up into. And so that's what we're doing here. Uh, it's not actually firmed into place because I could not screw it in because it's, it won't fit in this case. Whether it's in the top or in the back, uh, obviously there's no way it's going in the front. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I've got things hooked up. Let's go ahead and I believe I've got the power turned on. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Oops. All right. Let's turn the power on. There we go, I should have known, RGB. Turn the power on, and then, oh wow, that's cool, it lights up, so we got that part done. I'm wondering if the temp's gonna show up on there. I like that. Fan's blowing, I feel air. Now, let's see. I'm going to cut away for just a second, come back when I got some temps to show you and see what it's looking like. Give me just a second. It's going to be like instant for you guys. All right, so I would say we got a bigger problem than we thought, and I can actually hear, and I'm sure you can too, hear something that's not right in there. And I have a feeling that, that uh, the motor itself is gone because it's continuing to climb, and I'm going to have to take a look at it. But... At least I know that the AIO itself is messed up, and it wasn't just a matter of uh, it not being clean. So let me try something else. All right, so normally I would get caught up in trying to go ahead and repair it and put more distilled water in it or try to take the motor apart, and I still may do that. I, 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 but I have to kind of put that on the back burner just a little bit because uh, 
Well, we're still dealing with a hurricane. Now, it's clearing up. It's moving off. It's now a tropical storm moving off to the other side. Uh, but it still makes it a little bit difficult for me to go out and say go buy some distilled water <laughs> just to see if I can't fill this pump back up. Uh, it does make me feel good that we went ahead and swapped out the all-in-one cooler in Jeremy's system so that he can get back to his PC again and it and maintains good temperatures. We did check it out with the new pump or the new AIO in there uh, between 55 and maybe 75 when you're running Cinebench. So that's perfectly fine. That works really, really well. He's, he's all set up there. And it does make me feel a little bit better that we weren't able to actually fix it just by cleaning it up. That means it did have an actual problem that needed to be repaired, that we did have the uh, part that swapped that out that we were able to go ahead and fix his system and get him running again. I'm going to go ahead and leave Jeremy's info for Twitch uh, because he promises me he's going to start streaming again. He's very competitive. He's, he's very good. Uh, I believe mainly he plays uh, you know, first-person shooters like Call of Duty and you know Modern Warfare and all that stuff. So we will... Uh, I will leave that link down there below if you're interested. Please do go show him some love. Uh, tell him you're glad he got his system back up running again and all that good stuff. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Having that, knowing that I'm going to have to go and make another video trying to see if I can't troubleshoot the issues with this all-in-one cooler. Um, cleaning up helped, but it didn't fix it. And obviously that that little ticking there, that... Uh, that noise that we heard in when I try to set it up sort of ad hoc, um, that's not a good sign. And obviously, I mean, I tried setting it up in a hot box. It just will not fit, whether I try to mount it on the top or in the back. Uh, another reason not to like this case at all, another thing that makes me think, why do I even want to keep bothering with this case? What I am going to do, though, is I'm moving the inside of that case into a different one. That's going to be the gaming PC that I'll be out in the living room. I've already started filming that video but obviously not we're done with it not done with that either however i still have to try to whether they pass or fail or good or bad i uh promised a long time ago that i was gonna <laughs> i was gonna post it no matter what so this is where we are right now jeremy's up and running all right we do know that the all-in-one cooler that i got from him to try to clean up and see if that wasn't the problem is definitely messed up so i feel good that he's up and running and I, like I said, I'll leave his info down below. Go visit him over on that streaming channel and show him some love. And until next time, we'll get this figured out. But I'm going to ask you to do just one, one thing, one particular thing. And that's be nice to somebody. Uh, right now, especially in Florida, it's a really, really difficult time. So show a little extra care, show a little extra compassion, a little bit of extra nice. And uh, even if you're not in this area, just, uh, just be nice to somebody, okay? So, uh... Until the next time when I got more stuff, pass or fail or figure out or whatever, that's all I got for right now, so I'll see you later.